Hey everybody, thanks for stopping back by my channel. Um, this isn't gonna be an incredibly long video. Most of my videos I try to keep under 15 minutes on purpose. I don't have the attention span. You probably don't have the attention span, so. Anyway, the point of this video, and I, I'm not sure if anyone else is like me, you can tell me in the comments below. This is the time of year that my skin basically says, hey, whatever foundation or powder or you know BB cream you're using during the winter months, it's not gonna work anymore. So this is the time when I pull out things that are in my stash that I used last year, samples that I've received, and start to decide what I'm gonna be using for the spring and eventually the summer months. So in my case now, because it is getting to be more pleasant, temperatures, although we had snow last week, um, what's happening is my skin's producing uh, more oil. It doesn't mean I'm breaking out like a fiend or I have acne. I have combination skin, but I have an extremely oily T-zone. Extremely. So, um, besides my blotting powders and everything that I carry with me normally, definitely time to switch up from the foundations and BB creams that I was using that were more nourishing. I'm not saying I'm going like full matte, but there's I'm gonna make some changes. So I just wanna talk about those for um, a moment. I've got all my products over here. So I've got a couple samples. One is the Clarins Ever Matte. That's this. And I know you can't tell a lot from one sample, but I'm hoping I can, I can get at least an idea of texture um, I'll be using my uh, silicone based primer that I've been using for months now. Um, I may switch that up. If I do, I'll let you know because there's one that I'm looking at uh, that's from a Korean brand that I'm interested in. It's called, oh my gosh, I think it's just called Matte Primer and it's by Vanilla, Vanillico, yeah. So if I get that, I'll definitely let you know. And then I have the Stila Stay All Day Foundation. Um, and the Beauty Balm. So I have Beauty Balm, Stay All Day Foundation in Light, and Stay All Day Concealer. These are also samples, so I'll give these a go. Then a favorite of mine, um, I think the first time I was introduced to this foundation, it was because of Stacy Sunnyside, um, who's not making videos as far as I know any longer, but um, this is probably one of my favorite BB creams of all time. And it's the Dr. Jart Black Label Detox uh, Beauty Balm. So that's that. And I had a backup of this. I have, I've had several backups of that. Um, I'm also going to go back to the Estee Lauder Double Wear Nude Cushion Stick Radiant Makeup. This actually is not my favorite, I but I preferred it over the actual Double Wear because I thought the Double Wear was too heavy, which is shocking because I'm a full coverage type person. So I don't know what that's about. Then um, on a clearance sale, I picked up the Physician's Formula Super BB Filter Trio BB Powder, and this is the Universal Filter. Don't think I'll be wearing this on its own. I think this is something I'll be using on top of whatever I decide to use here, but not sure yet. Then um, something I, I found in the, one, the back of my drawer, um, as we all know, IT Cosmetics has been purchased by L'Oreal, so, it's only a matter of time, if they haven't done it already, before they change the formula of all of the products. So this is the old packaging, It Cosmetics by Jamie Kern, um, which I don't even think it says by Jamie Kern anymore. I think it just says It Cosmetics. Um, and this is the Celebration Foundation, which has always been um, a favorite of mine. Very, very good at keeping the oil at bay. And um, just a disclaimer here, there's nothing wrong with the fact that L'Oreal um, bought IT Cosmetics. It's just typically when a giant um, cosmetics house kind of buys up the smaller independent companies, one of the first things that they do is look for cheaper ingredients and produce it outside in China, et cetera, et cetera. Though, oh no, this was a pur purchased, or this was made in the USA and it says cruelty free. So I don't even know what the new packaging looks like. I'd be interested to see if the bunny's still on here. I seriously doubt it. So, and then finally, the real powder cushion from uh, Etude House. I ordered this um, from Etude House in South Korea. Etude House is probably, next to Misha, my, my top 
favorite Korean brand. So that's what I'm looking at uh, using. I'm sure you can see like the foundation's completely worn off my nose. I've literally been out for an hour and a half and it's time to change. So love to hear what you are using. Um, put that in the suggestions below, in the, in the comments below, not suggestions. Make your suggestions in the comments below. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Thanks for watching.